Hey everybody, Michael Snyder here, Everything Weather. So today I got the pleasure of testing out this weather station here from Tempest called the Weather Flow. You can see here it's got no moving parts, zero maintenance, and you can instantly get it online. It was really easy to set up. I mean, much easier than some stations I'm used to. I'm kind of a weather station snob. I've worked with some of the most expensive weather stations really in the world extensively. I was a National Weather Service weather observer for some time. So I was quite impressed that you can get something with this much data in it, and it's actually pretty darn accurate as well. It's got an ultrasonic anemometer. It's got a UV index and solar radiation on top as well. It's got a haptic rain gauge sensor. It's got temperature and humidity. It's all solar powered. You don't have to add batteries to this thing at all. It was easy to mount on the pole as well. Totally wireless there, and it was up and running just in minutes. So taking a look here, you can see all the stations. I grabbed this screenshot here and you can see all the weather stations around and they kind of learn from each other and they give you a better forecast data here. And they also use other stations to kind of give you a better idea of how much rain has fallen. For example, they'll also use other stations around it to kind of try to triangulate lightning strikes and at least make sure that they're legitimate lightning strikes, things of that nature. Uh, the app is pretty nice here. You can do it online or on your phone. It's really easy. It will give you a lightning activity and rain onset, how hard it's raining, all kinds of good stuff. And you can click on any one of these individual things and get a chart and whatnot. And it stores all this data for you in the cloud as well. So uh, I'm actually very impressed. And I'm in a, a huge weather station sn snob. I spend thousands of dollars on weather station stuff. And I've got huge guy wires and big time anemometer setups. And this is a really cool weather station. I'm very impressed here. And I highly recommend it here. And that's, that's, that's saying a lot from, from me, honestly. So um, yeah, it was really easy to set up. There's no moving parts. It reports all these things we talked about, solar radiation, UV, humidity, pressure, wind speed, direction, dew point, lightning, rainfall. And it does it quite well, actually. And you can see the only thing you have in your house is this plug in here and it plugs into that. And you keep it within about 300 meters of the station here and it should be just fine. That broadcasts all to the internet there. Stores in the cloud. You can visit it anytime you want from any phone or whatnot also here and it talks about here the nearcast technology it uses other stations it'll actually even use my professional station here since i have it logged in with cwap uh, and it'll use that data here to kind of try to show you a little bit more accurate rainfall for example and now looking at this you can see here's the app what it'll look like on the phone here and here's another nice picture of the instrument itself just all contained right there again solar powered no batteries whatnot and now, and if you want to buy one of these too, I'm going to put a link in the description below and it'll be West Coast weather. And I'll show you how to do that here on the website in a moment. So you know, you're getting the discount and whatnot if you use my code there, <clears throat> but you can see there's, um, yeah, there's all kinds of history that's going to be kept there and you can access that again on the phone or on the website there. My kids love watching this and you can talk to Google with it too. So watch this. Hey, Google, talk to weather flow. What can I tell you about the weather? What's the temperature outside? The air temperature at Snyder Tempest WX says 37.8 degrees Fahrenheit. So yeah, and it'll tell you like all kinds of information on the station there too. It's, I asked it to give me like a forecast or I think a current weather conditions and it like listed off every single thing. It took it a little bit to do it. But yeah, my kids love watching that. They love watching the anemometer real-time wind speed and whatnot. And I'm really looking forward to watching this lightning detection go off. It'll give you notifications on your phone if you want. Same thing with rain onset as well. Now, this is another weather geek thing here. I like to know exactly what the anemometer is sampling at. I know that my Davis stations do 2.5 seconds. A lot of other ones do 2.5 as well. ASOS does 5 seconds. The professional one, the FAA and the airport weather the stations do the five seconds there. Uh, there's some with like AccuWeather that actually do one second wind readings, which is kind of considered an instant gust. It's not official, for example, but this three second is right there online with official gusts. So I look forward to that. The UV index and the solar radiation tells you how strong the sun is, how much sunlight's reaching the, the earth. And it's very accurate. I was comparing it to my professional stuff here at, at the Davis Instrument Station, and it was almost exactly the same as I watched it through the day. So I'm actually very impressed there. And I'm, uh, I'm curious to learn more about the, the haptic rain sensor. It gives different rain intensities. It measures the vibration of the raindrops as it hits down on top of the weather station there. So it's very, 
It looks like it's pretty promising, and the lightning activity within 25 miles shown there, and of course, air temperature pretty standard there, and those update every minute or so. Now you can see here, I highlighted that for the three seconds. There's the UV index solar radiation. You can see the rain intensity goes from very light to extreme, and you can do low to high sensitivity. It'll tell you there as well as far as the rain start when it started raining. So lightning detection is, you know, compares data from your Tempest with other nearby Tempest weather stations and some other third-party lightning data sources. So it, apparently it gives a pretty accurate reading here. As I test it after a few months, I'll get a better idea of just how accurate it is. But it sounds pretty promising also. And you can see it goes out to about 25 miles there as well. And it'll tell you the distance of each individual strike. Um, the nearcast is a unique feature there too. You can see it, it'll... You know, this rain varies over small distances here. So anytime an individual Tempest device might not be the best estimate, makes sense usually here, but it'll go over different weather stations within your neighborhood and whatnot too, and even other professional stations nearby. The ultrasonic anemometer is another really good thing there too. It doesn't have moving parts. It just kind of measures the air as it passes over the transducers there. And it's very, very accurate here. I've been watching it and it looks like it's right in line with the other weather station anemometers that I've been testing on the deck out there as well. So now taking a look here, this is a live look at my weather station. You can see it has the wind speed here. You'll notice that switching around every three seconds that'll update. Updates the temperature like you saw every minute and the pressure. You can see it's falling. We got a storm coming in here. The rain is currently falling moderately. We've got just over a third of an inch of rain today. And you can click on any one of these things here and you can see that's the wind over the last couple of days that I've had the station. You can zoom in and customize the chart. It tells you what the exact wind gust during these times were. For example, or if you wanted to go to barometric pressure, you can kind of see how it's been falling <clears throat> as we've been going on since this morning here. But yeah, great stuff. And you can click on the map there. It brings you to your location. You can see all your neighbors that have these weather stations. It's really cool. And if you don't want to have it on here too, if you want some privacy or whatnot, you can do that as well. But you can see this is a very popular weather station here. And I see why now. I highly recommend it. I've been really reluctant to buy um, weather stations that we'll just say that aren't that expensive. I've kind of been somewhat of weather snob admittedly, and I kind of just have put it together that you have to spend a lot of money to get accurate weather, but it's not always the case. I do use some um, lower end products here, but this is a really good one here. And that's the only reason why I'm doing this. I normally wouldn't really do this here. I'm kind of like really picky with what I choose to do. But as, as far as not setting up a huge, elaborate professional station on your home, this is really the way to go. And I highly recommend it. So now as you go in here and you'll click on the link below, you'll see you're now shopping with Michael Snyder, trying to make sure you get the actual discount here. So you'd go down, make sure you see that you're now shopping with Michael Snyder. You'll see that when you click the link, you'll click on the weather station, for example, if you wanna buy that, and you'll add it to your cart. And you can see here the quantity, make sure it's one or however many you're gonna buy or whatnot. You won't see the discount yet, but when you click checkout, you'll go up here and you'll actually see the discount there. You'll see West Coast Weather, the coupon code entered there and it takes off the 10% of the station here. And then you go ahead and put in your payment information and whatnot and you check out and you're done. And it'll be on its way. And I, ha I highly recommend the mounting device there as well. I believe that's on this website also here. If we go back all the way out, there it is. Universal mount works pretty well because it just fits right on top. You don't need any tools to even do that. It just screws right onto the, uh, the actual pole there. And you just screw the pole into wherever you want to mount this here. And yeah, so the only thing you have inside the house is just one little plug-in sensor that actually reads the information from the sensors here and then broadcast that online and in the cloud. So anyway, just thought I'd put that out here. Click on the link below if you want to order one of these. I highly recommend it. Um, I'll be talking about this more again in the future during some of my videos a little bit too as well. Um, but yeah, uh, they, they throw me a couple of bucks here if I sell one as well. So it helps the page also on that aspect. So anyway, um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. We'll do our normal weather briefings here, active weather on the way here across West coast and North America. And yeah, so I'll talk to you guys then. And I hope you guys can get out and get one of these and enjoy this, enjoy watching the weather. So I'll talk to you guys later.